Leon, if you are mayor, what will you change in terms of where the budget is spent? There, there are certain room, there's a room for improvement, definitely. Because it depends on, I believe, the priorities of the local chief executive. I think in the beginning, we have to have a baseline. We have uh -huh. to have baseline data so we will know exactly how many people are living below the poverty okay. level. Uh -huh. And that's the only time we can tell how much money we should be allocating per sector. Quezon City, in spite of the fact that it was the biggest uh, uh, income in Metro Manila, it's the biggest city. Of 9 or 21 billion yes, a year? Yes, yes. Well, last year it was only 19, okay. no? 21 billion. Now it, it's being left behind. For example, in Calaocan, they have their own city uni uh, university, but well, it's free. In Manila, they have their own Pamantasan na Manila. In Makati, they have their own Quezon City. We don't have any. Ah, wala nga, no? Wala. There is no yet, free university in Quezon City. And yet we have Quezon the biggest city. budget. He has uh -oh. promised to give every single senior citizen in Quezon City, I think, I think, a thousand pesos monthly allowance. Okay. And if you do the math, that's about six billion pesos already. Uh -oh. He's promised to give every school child, uh -oh. I think, a thousand peso allowance as well uh, per month, and that's already five yeah, yeah. billion. Uh -oh. So if you do the math, that's a lot of money. And you're against that. You want? No, I want to spend it because that's what the purpose of uh, of a budget. You have to spend it. You don't save it. That's for the people. It's not, that's not the money of the Belmonte. Uh -oh. That's not the money of the Crisologo. That's the money of the people. Okay. What I've read in research is there's going to be a 500% increase in real estate taxes in QC. Well, that's totally not true. Okay. In the local government code, uh, we are required to raise fair market value. That's different from tax. Fair market value is the value of property okay. every three years. You know, the ordinance is an increase tama oh. for fair market value. Based on section 199 of the LGC, yes. assessed value is the fair market value. Okay. So, ta -ta -taas talaga. Tumaas yung fair market value, and that's good for you the as owner, the home owner, the property. because the value of your property now will go up, right. and if you sell your property, you can sell it for much more than when you oh. bought it, right? I am not against it, but it is the abrupt increase. Okay, for, go on. It is the abrupt increase, no? And besides, hidden under that SB 2556, is there going to tax even the squatters' uh, houses? Mungyari, may barong-barong ka na mali. Oh, worth 20,000 ito. Kailangan magbayad ka na kada taon ng 300 piso. Hindi nga nila lupa yun, so why tax it? Tapos, hindi lang yun, ang dami. Pati simbahan ngayon, tataksan nila. The provisions and the building structures, very clear na mga simbahan dito, type for mga simbahan, any renovation, Oo. tataksan na nila. So basta mag-renovate ka, may tax. PCSO Chair Morato claims that you gave a special permit for construction of a 21-story building that his family owns. Apparently, he claims the property. And the building construction is favorable to your own siblings. He describes you as being drunk with power. He says there's already a law prohibiting public officials from giving favor to family members up to the fourth degree of consanguinity. What is this issue? He's lying. I would like to tell everyone on national TV he's lying. I said there is no way I'm giving or allowing a permit, um, a special permit or an exemption for any property where you or any family member is involved. The brothers are right now for a special permit yeah. to the city council. Which she granted, which she denied in her program, yeah. Yeah, wala daw siyang signature. But we have a copy. That's the case of uh, Manoling in court. Mm -hmm. Si Manoling ang nagpahal niyan.